Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button so we can keep, keep on climbing even higher. The 1100 ladder almost got tongue-tied there at the end. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, yes, third place out of an OTS championship out of Kaiser Lawton. I have it pulled up here on my other screen. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh, or Lot Kaiser Lotter, uh, whatever. It's an OTS championship. We got Gunkin Suship coming in third place, ladies and gentlemen. Now I know what you're thinking. What the fuck? We've got Sushi topping an event. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got Sushi out here topping an event. Now, here's what's interesting about this. The person that actually topped uh, with this uh, deck. Shout out to, and I apologize if I butcher your name, pimp. Uh, Gianluca de Pasquale, Gian Gianluca de Pasquale. Uh, try to use my Spanish accent there. I I can speak other languages as well. I just uh can't learn them well. <laughs> um, but he came in third place with this deck, and he was talking about on Facebook like uh some of his matchups and how he won and things like that. Uh, some of the things I want to note is that number one, the thing he said to me was, if I won the die roll, I won. If I lost the die roll, I lost. Pretty basic. <laughs> So, take that for what you want. He also said at one point he was able to proc uh, during his turn all of his opponent's monster effects. Then he tributed off all the opponent's monsters and summoned out Kurikara and one-punched his opponent for game. That's really disgusting. Um, and we're going to be talking about that more in just a minute. Also, I do want to say that um, if you do want to play this deck, I mean, this deck is budget as fuck. Like, I mean, really. Like, you look at the side, you look at the main deck. Like, I mean, you are maybe putting out money for Small World and maybe some cards in the extra deck. And other than that, this whole deck is cheap AF. Um, <clears throat> keep in mind, too, that in uh, Cyberstorm Access, we are getting the brand new Gunkin Suship Chef's Choice uh, Continuous Spell. That does help the deck a lot. Honestly, this continuous spell is pretty gross in the deck. Um, so do keep that in mind if you do want to play this deck moving forward, uh, that there is more support down the pipeline. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive on into this deck profile. So I don't know what his matchups were. I think he said it was like five rounds. So, you know, keep that in mind. We're playing three copies of uh, Gunkin Suship Sherry. Uh, three copies of Nibiru, three Lava Golem, because we want to bust those fucking boards. Uh, we're playing three copies of the Suship Uni, three copy of Suship Ikura, three Suship Shirayo, and then we're also playing three Suship Sherry Red, along with three Ash Blossom and two Kirikara. Now, I've seen some people saying, well, you can't play three copies of Sherry Red because its name is also treated as Gunkin Suship Sherry. Here's the difference with this card compared to something like uh, Neospatian Marine Dolphin that says this card's name is also treated as Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, which means you can't play three Aqua Dolphin and three Marine Dolphin. This specifically says this card's name becomes Suship Sherry while in the hand deck grave or on the field. So if the card's banished, its name is not treated as Sherry Red. So that means you can get away with playing three of the original Sherry and three copies of this card. So keep that in mind if you play this deck and people obviously aren't going to know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to this deck. They're going to try and say that you're cheating. No, because if the card's banished, its name is treated as Sherry Red, pimp. We're playing three copies of Unexpected Die just to cheese out the vanilla. We're playing three copies of Painful Decision. So this is actually kind of disgusting. So you send a level four lower normal monster from your deck to grave. And if you do, you can add a card with the same name as that card from your deck to your hand you can only activate one per turn so you can dump the sous ship sherry to get to sherry red because it does share the same name when it's in the deck and you can start making plays that seems really good we're playing one change of heart because we're going second deck three copies of small world because honestly the small world lines in here i'm sure are pretty good i'm not going to try and guess them off the top of my head but everything in here is fire to some degree minus nibiru all the gunkin sous ships are fire aquas you've got ash that's fire zombie kurakara is a fire fairy nib is your only non-fire thing and then lava is a fire fiend so yeah your fire is all around one copy of double or nothing because we are playing a utopia double package and we want to go second in otk and then three copies of imperm just to go with more hand traps so you're playing three uh six nine ten eleven hand traps that seems pretty good 
Like, if for whatever reason you don't draw these and the opponent starts popping off, you have the nib to bust their board or you have the lava golem. Uh, for the extra deck, we're playing two Zeus, one 99 Utopia Dragonair, uh, one Hope Harbinger, one Gaia Dragon, one Gunkin Suship Uni-Class Super Dreadnought, one Utopia, uh, two of the Ikira-Class Dreadnought, one Baguska, one Exiton with two Utopia Double, not just one, and then the two Lingrios because obviously you want to out the Ibli. I'm shocked that he's not playing more of the Gunkin Suship Exceeds. However, uh, because of the fact that he is a going second deck and you need room in order to out something like Ibli, um, you need to be able to uh, have the out in your extra deck. So you got to be able to make space. If you just heard a noise, that was my Facebook. I apologize. I have the deck list here pulled up next to me. So yeah, you got to be able to make room for stuff like the uh, Lingaribo and all that. For the side deck, we're playing three Dimension Shifter because I guess you just don't give a shit about your grave. Uh, three copies of Denko because you need to be able to uh, out the back row because Labyrinth and I would imagine all back row decks are a bitch to deal with when it comes to this deck. Uh, and then we're playing three copies of the Barrier Statue Inferno. And Inferno. Inferno. Gee, I wonder why because everything in here is fire uh, two copy of ghost bell one feather duster and then three copies of evenly match rounding off your side deck so what are my initial thoughts with this here so obviously like i said you're going second deck you want to do double or nothing lines you want to be a zeus turbo deck you want to like just crack boards um again we are getting more support with the continuous spell so if you're like avery i don't really want to play this keep in mind that we are getting more support down the line um, a shout out again to, I, I apologize if I mispronounce this, Gian Luca de Pasquale. If you happen to see this deck and you want to do an interview, by all means, reach out to me either in my comment section or in my email, which is linked on my channel. Um, would love to get your thoughts on this deck, uh, or anyone out there that plays Gunkin Suship on the regular that, uh, wants to, uh, give some insight into this deck. I've played this deck casually on the side and just kind of messed around with it a bit. It is a rank four Xyz toolbox deck. Um, so you do have that going for you because rank four Xyz is honestly the best Xyz rank in the game, in my humble opinion. You've got so many ways to get your combos going, like you can crack boards with lava. You don't really, in theory, need your normal summon because if you open up Unexpected Die, you can just summon out the Suship Sherry and then get your plays going with basically any other piece of rice here. Like, you know, if you have Sherry Red, like you can just get your plays going just off of this. So you don't really need your normal summon. You also have Change of Heart just to take an opponent's monster, just to push for even more damage. So this deck can definitely pump out the numbers when it comes to damage. Of course, you got the double or nothing play. You know, if you get two level fours, that's basically game. You just make a Utopia, have it be 5,000, negate its own attack, double or nothing, it's 10,000. That's GG, no re. So this deck is just fucking bananas. It's so cool to see something like this make third place at an OTS championship. You know, even if it's an OTS championship with only four or five rounds, you know, OTS championships aren't necessarily the easiest thing, ladies and gentlemen. So you got to give credit where credit is due. And it's awesome that a deck like this was able to shine, especially because we don't even have the continuous spell yet, which I do want to read this off here because this card's actually kind of broke. So once a turn, you can reveal a Sherry in your hand, place a counter on this card. And if you do reveal a Gunkin Xyz monster in your extra deck, and if you do that, your opponent declares a Gunkin monster's name mentioned on any Gunkin Xyz monster except Sherry, and you add the declared card from deck to hand if you could not add the declared card shuffle this card into the deck if this card's in its owner's possession is destroyed by opponent's card your opponent pays life points exactly equal to the number of counters this card had times 500 so it doesn't inflict damage it makes them pay life points so this is amazing in time and also too it gets you to another piece of rice that you need that's not named sherry so that you're able to make that exceeds line because remember that these exceeds gain more effects based on the other type that you use so if you use sherry you're going to draw a card and like in the case of ikira if you use ikira it can make a second attack and then for this one here if you use uni it gains the ability to attack direct and that's on a 2900 freaking rice ship so keep that in mind as you move into uh the next set with cyberstorm access that this deck will be getting more support and an extension more consistency so guys let me know what you think about this deck down in the comments below again uh pasquale if you happen to see this congrats brother uh i would love to do an interview with you get your thoughts on this deck you know do, do, do y'all think that this can compete at a regional or a YCS? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to see someone beating that ass with a big old piece of rice. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and I will see you in the next video.